Hi, students and family members. It's Mr. Panza. While the students are having some indoor recess, I figured I'd go over three of tonight's five math problems. After I had a chance to talk with many of you last week, I realized that I wanted to make sure I'm creating videos for homework with problems that the students are actually doing. So this should hopefully be helpful. To do a three-digit dividend divided by a one-digit divisor, we start and ask ourselves, can I divide this nine by three? Or can I skip count by three and get close to nine? The answer is yes. As long as this number is bigger than the divisor, you can and should start with that first number in the hundreds. I like the students to tally up how many times you can do that. They do that because they're used to skip counting by three, three, six, nine. Also, this shows you what parts of the quotients are going to go into the correct spot. So this three will go above the nine because it's the first part of our quotient. That's the division step. Then you multiply three times three to get nine. Some students like to think, oh, it's three times my tally mark of three, which is still nine. That goes underneath here. And because division is repeated subtraction, the third step is to subtract the nine minus nine. And the fourth step is to bring down the next piece. You can also bring down the divisor of three. And finally, you repeat. Again, you're skip counting by three till you get close to nine. Once again, it's three. And I put that three, that piece of my quotient, in the tens. And three times three is nine again. Subtract. Bring down the six. Bring down the three. And repeat one more time. How many times can you skip count by three and get close to six? Three, six, two. So you can see how I'm building my quotient, the answer to my division problem. The first three went into the hundreds. The second three tally marks went into the tens. And the two went into the ones. I still need to finish it off by multiplying three times two and getting six, which gives me a remainder of zero. So 332 is the answer to the first question. Let's skip number two, move on to three. I'll do numbers one, three, and five tonight. Again, skip count by four till I get close to four. That's just one. So I'm going to put the number one here because there's one tally there, part of my quotient. Four times one is four. Subtract. Bring down the next piece. Bring down your divisor and repeat. You always repeat if this number inside the dividend is equal to or greater than the divisor on the outside because you can split apart the four again one more time. When you skip count by four, you get close to four. That's one. Four times one is four. Subtract. Bring down the final piece of the dividend. Bring down the divisor. And repeat one more time. How many times can you skip count by four and get close to eight? Twice. That goes up there. Four times two is eight. Subtract. And that gives you the remainder of zero. The answer to number three is 112 with a remainder of zero. Finally, can two go into eight? It sure can. I skip count by two till I get close to eight. Two, four, six, eight. Part of my quotient goes into my answer. Four times two is eight. Subtract. Bring down. And repeat. Skip count by two till I get close to six. There's part of my quotient again. It goes here. Three times two is six. Subtract. Bring down. And repeat one more time. Skip count by two till you get to two. That's just one. Put that in your quotient. Two times one is two. Subtract, you're left with zero. Your answer to number five is 431. So you can see the steps of division here. I also wanted to show you exactly how I'm showing the students to do it so they can show their work and their homework. Hopefully this video will help you with these three and the students can use this video, pause it if they need to at certain points, and complete numbers two and four. Hope it helps.